guys, welcome and thank you for tuning in to this week's weekly plan. Now, if you're new to my channel, the weekly plan consists of our family of six weekly grocery haul, our meal plan, and my plan of spread. Now guys, this weekly plan is going to be slightly different only because we're going to be shopping the pantry and the freezer for supplies that we have on hand. Now, I typically aim for the first weekend of every month to do my huge grocery shopping where I pick up all of my meats for the month um, and all of my other staple items, dry goods, canned goods, and so on. However, due to schedules and traveling the first and second, um, well, actually the first and third weekend, weekends in this month, I just won't have time to do that. So it doesn't look like I'll be doing that big haul until probably the weekend before my kids go back to school, which is the second to last weekend in August. There you have it. So instead, we're going to shop the pantry and the freezer and see what items we have on hand and make our meals based on that. So let me turn the camera around and let's get into the boss, AKA the planner. All right guys, so here's a quick look at the weekly plan the weekly to do. So hopping into Monday for myself, all I have planned is upload a video. That doesn't mean that's all that's going to happen as it relates to things that I try to do for myself. But that's my major thing is making sure the video I have planned for Monday gets uploaded and it's done. Then I have get to bed by 11. I have been doing very good about that, guys. I'm not going to sleep at 11, but I am in the bed by 11. In the home and family box, I have cut my coupons and then work on my coupon shopping list. So this is a day that I will take a, um, some time and match up all the deals and get my list ready to go. I have water the yard here. Again, it's so, so hot here in Houston. I want to make sure we're not beginning to water the yard and our plants. And then down here, the to-do box, I don't have anything listed as of yet. That does not mean that something won't pop up, which it typically always do. But as of right now, there's nothing major that I'm listing for the to-do box. Um, down at the bottom, the only thing I have related to the daycare is um, post a Craigslist ad. And then, of course, I have all the standard things that I do every single night for the daycare. The half bath, vacuum and mop the floor, the sign in and out log, and then update our um, online food program system and make sure I take out lunch for the next day. Now guys, when it comes to mopping and vacuuming the floor, no, I don't do it every single night in the daycare. I have this here as a reminder so that I can make sure I'm checking and then I can check off when it was done. It's not that every night it needs to be done. It's just here and there, it may need to be done. Then into Tuesday, all I have planned for myself is relax. I have a new baby starting. Uh, was, he started actually last week, and then this week it's going to be his full week. So he'll be with me on Tuesday. I'm not going to even stress myself out with trying to overload myself with things to do for me um, because I know I'm going to have to be hands on deck with the new baby. Simple as that. Mason has speech. Again, there's nothing else going on. If the baby is calm, cool, collected, and relaxed, I'll go ahead and figure out what I can do where I can do it but for now I don't have anything planned post a Craigslist ad that's about it there Wednesday work on some YouTube stuff for the channel that I have a uh, list going on there's some things I want to get done bed by 11 as well as for Tuesday bed by 11 Jalen has a hour appointment at 1 paperwork day is on Wednesdays for me so I try to follow all the paperwork that comes into the home again that means mail um, Things for the daycare, um, you know, just any paperwork that comes in, I try to get it filed and put away on Wednesday. Um, clean out the wall file. I have a um, hanging file folder that, that's next to my desk. So I try to once a month clean that out, declutter it, get rid of whatever we don't need. Water yard. Post a Facebook post for the daycare. Um, I typically post whatever activities we did from last week. I'll post it here on Wednesday and then post a Craigslist ad. Moving into Thursday, I have uploaded a video. Again, there's a video I have planned for Thursday, so just making sure I have it uploaded and it's set to go. Bed by 11, Mason has speech on Thursday. I have the um, weekly meal plan and shopping list. Now, what I do for my weekly meal plan, um, guys, I actually, I, I meal plan for the entire month. So on Thursdays, what I like to do is I come in, I get my um, monthly meal plan calendar out, and I go ahead and write in on our weekly meal planning list that sits on my refrigerator. I'll write in whatever meals we're having for the week coming. 
and then I make my shopping list based on that. So sometimes there may be weeks in that may be weeks. There may be days within the current week that we don't have a particular meal that's planned for whatever reason. So that meal will roll over to the next week. So again, the meal planning that I do is just on a weekly basis. It's already done monthly. I just come in and update the weekly calendar um, that sits on top of the refrigerator and then do my shopping list based on that. And I do plan to do a, like a whole, like I guess series on how all these little systems I have in place to organize and manage my home how it all works and fit together for you guys so i do plan to get that content out to you guys just bear with me um okay so post a Craigslist ad um well yeah post a Craigslist ad on thursday and that's it there friday upload a video fridays the days i try to work in my planner backup uh, files again i have told you guys it's now doing youtube these um Videos take up a lot of desktop um, space on your computer, hard drive space rather, so I like to back up all the files to the external hard drive on Fridays. Um, pack, and I didn't mention we are going to be heading out of town this um, coming weekend, so I need to pack on Friday for me and the kids. Uh, work on the weekly budget, and then do the bake run. Water yard, as always on Fridays, I like to close out the week. So I put a little sticker there and I write close out the week. And basically what I do is anything pertaining to the daycare that needs to be done in this week, I make sure I get it done on Friday and wrap it up. Um, as well as anything for the household that needs to get done, I try to wrap it up on Friday so it don't run into my weekend. So on the weekend side, um, I left the weekend blank because me and the kids um, are going to be traveling out of town to go and pick up my oldest daughter. So we're just going to make a weekend of it and spend time back home with family. So it's blank. This is going to give me an area to journal in. Um, you know, all the fun things, all the activities and all that stuff that we got to do hanging out with our peeps back home. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and let's get into the weekly meal plan. Okay guys, so getting into this week's weekly meal plan. I have shop the pantry, the stockpile closet, as well as the freezer. Now, starting off with Sunday, I have nothing planned. As you can see here, the kids and I are headed out of town Sunday morning. Um, therefore, we will probably just eat out on the road, so I didn't bother planning anything. Now, moving into the week, guys, I have mentioned before that my kids eat cereal um, throughout the morning, during the week, during the summer months, only because they get up so late, uh, mid-morning. By the time they get up, it's really lunchtime. So I only give them something light to eat just to get them going, and really within 30, 45 minutes, they're back for actual lunch. So it'll be cereal throughout the mornings. And then um, for the weeks, we do daycare. They eat whatever the daycare is eating for lunch. And then coming into Monday, I'm going to do a black bean casserole. All that consists of is ground turkey, black beans, um, a can of diced tomatoes, some corn, and then of course our Cajun trinity, if you will, um, onion, celery, and bell pepper, and then pasta all mixed in together. On Tuesday, I'm going to do barbecue ribs. We have one pack of ribs in the freezer, so I'm going to go ahead and cook that up, throw it in the crock pot. I have this mango sauce that I froze a few weeks back that I had picked up from Sam's. I was the only one that was actually eating on it. Um, I don't know if it's that anybody else didn't like it or they just didn't taste it. I don't know what it was, but I knew I, I ate half the, um, the jar of it, and then I froze half of it. So I'm going to try to put that mango in with the ribs and see how that comes out. I think it is going to be good. The mango is like a sweet kind of spicy taste to it, if you will. So I think that would be pretty good. And then we're going to have leftovers from Monday's meal. And then on Thursday, I'm going to try to make this mix that I picked up couponing the Betty Crocker Sutton, Suttonly Salad Mix, if you guys can see that here. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, it's the Creamy Italian I have never um, tasted this before, but I picked it up um, on a coupon deal a few weeks back, and it looked delicious. It's, you know, one of those things. I was hungry, sorry, and it's like, hey, it's about nine, and I got a coupon, and I picked it up. So, what I plan to do is I'm going to cook it up early Thursday morning and get a taste for it and see what meat would go good with it. I have a pack of chicken breasts. Um, and I have a pack of pork chops, so I'm not sure which meat to put with it. So I'll try to cook it up early Thursday morning and see what would taste best with it. If you guys have any, um, suggestions on that, if you ever tasted it before yourself, do leave me a comment below on that. And then Friday, we're going to have pizza, pizza night Friday. I have one pizza left in there. It is like a, um, it's a white chicken, 
um, pizza that I picked up from Kroger's a couple weeks ago. Um, the kids have had it before. The only one that has not had it was Jada. But then again, she's not going to even be here. So don't have to worry about her being picky, if you will. So um, we'll have pizza on Friday nights. And then on Saturday, uh, we'll be doing grilled hot dogs. Um, grilled hot dogs, we'll probably have them on the George Foreman grill instead of pulling the actual whole grill out. That'll be easy. Um, and I'll probably put some baked beans on the side with it and, I don't know, a, a nice salad. And that's the wrap. So there you have it, guys. That's our weekly meal plan in a nutshell. All right, guys, so yeah, that's pretty much our family's weekly plan. Guys, do let me know in the comments below how do you go about planning for the week? How do you go about meal planning, grocery shopping, um, planning out your to-dos for the week? Do you use a planner, sticky notes, random sheets of paper, what have you? What is your style? What is your flow? How do you guys stay organized? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. Until next time, guys, 